Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This is the Sherman Fury. And when I saw it came back into the store this week, I thought, man, I gotta buy this tank, but I have to make a video for it. Because, come on. Now, I'm a Sherman guy and have been for at least 50 years. So it was really kind of a no-brainer to me. But I wanted to be able to do the whole thing, make the video, do the setup, etc., etc. To kick butt. And that's what I'm going to do. Because it looks cool. And, you know, it has really good armor. Check out the armor on this dude. That armor is pretty darn awesome, baby. Especially for tier 6. So, good stuff compared to the regular tier 6 Shermans. You know, a nice skin as well. And when you consider the fact that they sell those skins for 3000 or 1500 half price, you can't go wrong with this tank on sale for 3200 gold. So let's go back here and pick up this dude. Plus, we're going to get a 2D War Daddy. I can deal with that, no problem. Although I think I'm going to... Stick a pool in here. So let's rock, baby. Purchased Bowington Special Fury for 3200 Deal. Out. Standing. The following vehicle was added. Sherman Fury. Excellent. Oh yeah. The Fury reminds me of the Armadillo, when it came back, I had to buy it because I had been thinking about it and I lamented the fact that it disappeared in the summer of last year and it came back in November and I jumped all over it. Da -dun -da -dun -da -da -dun -da -dun 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 so Let's go and get this dude done, shall we? All right. Equipment. First thing I do, get rid of stupid enhanced targeting. It's a bad crutch that will mess you up. Now, I almost always replace it with optics. I'm going to wait and see. First thing we're going to do here. Medium tanks and heavy tanks. You can put advanced armor. That's minus 5% damage. And you better believe I'm all over that. Now, what is this reload? 3.3 is fantastic. Man, what is the speed on this dude? 48. So there's one idea that I'm having, and that is to go... The 3.3 reload is really fantastic. And the commander is going to alter that. So let's see. What is this guy? He's just a... This war daddy guy is just a one-slot commander. Where is that pool hiding? Because my pool... I'll find him this way. I don't know. I 
don't think I put them in a vehicle. Maybe I did. I guess I did. All right. So then he's an American. Oh, yeah. I put him in the Patriot. Good job, genius. Patriot. We're going to take this pool and assign him to the Fury. The reason why is we're going to get all the reload off of this. And it's probably going to knock this under three seconds. So let's do that. We want to see. We might want to make this 2.82. Fantastic. Now, we're going to shove this rations on there. It'll drop it again. 2.67. Man, that's crazy good. All right. Another one. Consumables. Gold repairs for frontline fighters, mediums and heavies, and even some light tanks, depending on which ones you're using. So, super fantastic. That means we could probably run... See, this means I don't have to run the fan to drop that down to like two and a half seconds. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but you know, let's double check. Right now, we're at 2581. Um... Damage per minute. What's our camouflage? Dun, 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 dun. 360. That's really terrible. I want to say vision and camo. And maybe tracks to jack the speed up over 50. Camo net will be good. That drops it to 320. That's not terrible. And in fact, oh, we have to get the loader. I do. Uh, well, actually, we may not. Wow. This tank's reload is so awesome. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking we're not going to use the loader. We're going to use extended vision 442. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the commander skills. This tank is too good as it is. Actually, and it really is so good, it doesn't need the pool. It needs somebody else. What do we have? Do we have anybody here that's... Mm-hmm. Well, I need a seven skill. Ooh, that's a nice one. This jackal is fantastic. Eradicator, also good. Mmm, toughy. Jackal is the way to go. Um, hmm. Realistically, what we need to do is swamp this. With. Where is my pool is the question. There he is. We'll keep the pools three stars with these seven. Because what it does is that jacks the vision up to 473. And he also has camouflage expertise. So right now he's dropped to 310 on the camo, which is fantastic. So again, 267. Jeez Louise, we can get this thing to have a monster. And actually, watch this. This fan is going to make the vision increase 484. 
Also, it's going to reduce the reload and increase the aim. What's the accuracy? Accuracy on this gun is 0.32, real solid for a medium tank. 2.61 on the reload. Hmm. Well, we can always change that camo at any time. It's 50-50 gold gasoline or medical kit. I'm going to go with the gasoline and jack the speed up to 50. I'm going to go. It's a gut, gut uh, reaction now. Let's go here. Change that to silver. Penetration is 177. 128 and this one is penetration 38 I don't like that good enough okay so now this is the Sherman Fury kicking butt it, or in position to kick butt with Lafayette Poole as my commander with three stars all we need to do now is get Let's take a look at this tank fest. Oh, that's not tank fest. This is the uh, ATW-23. Man, that looks pretty sweet. Problem is, with this camo, you can't see the American emblem. But we could, re we could replace that potentially. That looks really good. That also looks good. You can see the emblem. Solid. Also solid. And I really like this big green splotch though. And it's a toughie. Think about it. Green. And I don't like this. I don't care for this junk. I don't like digital camo on World War II tanks. It just rubs me the wrong way, brother. Pretty good. This historical Korea is good. Ertl. I don't know. Ertl is an okay camo. Doesn't look super great, but it's good. How much is this half off? 75, not bad. Oh, now there you go. Well, the Ertl looks pretty good. I like that. I also like Woodland Tuffy. Some of her dance is not bad. Hmm. Some are transparent is okay. I don't know. I like. Tank Fest. That's not a bad camo either. Oh, drab number nine, good color. Oh, drab number 22, even better. Deal. Desert. Now, a lot of these deserts just aren't that great. Solid. Ooh, that's very good. Chocolate chip is annoying. Decent, but annoying. I like this one. Deal. Urban. No tank fest. Nope. I don't care for it. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, drag number 50 is pretty good, also. I'm good with that. Now, let's go hit this 
let's hit this winter guy. And I like this snow temperate. Got to go with it. All right, we're good. Now, what is this drop? Our camo is under 300, finally. Not bad. This looks like a winner to me, man. So I'm going to go test this out. It'll be several minutes, maybe even half an hour for me. But it will be only seconds for you. Duckla Pass. Now, this Fury, it's pretty awesome. The mobility on this thing is terrific. I love the way it drives. The one drawback of being a tier 6 is that it's a tier 6 versus, you know, tier 7s or 8s in this match. It looks fantastic, drives terrific. This thing is an absolute bonus tank. It's as good as you would hope it would be for a tier six tank. If you were considering buying the Fury back in the day and didn't do it, you have the opportunity to rectify that situation. The Fury is fantastic. This one gets a big thumbs up for me and it's fun to play and that's the number one attribute that I look at in any tank. So absolutely awesome. In the first match I played it worked out great. Our team didn't win. But I killed the guy fairly quickly. This one, better team game. And I had a solid performance. So I'm going to go with this one. This one really had a longer bit of action for the Fury. Fantastic. Jackal got him. Well, we gave that guy a pretty good beating. That's another one. That is the Crafts Panther. We beat the crud out of this dude, too. And the, the, the Fury price, I'm telling you, man, it's a bargain. It's absolutely a killer tank. Just couldn't get the cash on this one. King Tiger crushed him. But come on, he's a King Tiger. Nice. Just playing a little waiting game. Then I realized I'm going to use this mobility and go elsewhere. See if I can shoot that guy and didn't have a shot. So I'm going to head down the road to, the, to this main battle down here around Hotel 8 and 9. A lot of heavy takes, which probably is not the greatest place for me to go. But I needed to add numbers, or so I thought, down here.
I did one sliver of damage to this Gornich. I got past him, and the mistake is I thought this would pen to trade his rear end, but it didn't. I couldn't do anything. It wouldn't even track him. I mean, that was just ridiculous. I could have gone past him. You know, worked on that other tiger or panther or something. So that was my mistake. I, I mean, it should have it should have tracked him, and that guy ended up killing more people. This dude's in trouble. This 1357 is going to kick his butt. Hardcore. He's also a 1357. You got enough to kill him in one magazine, just kill this guy. Nice. Should have the shot. There you go. Nice work. Thunderbolt. Another Sherman butt kicker. King Tiger. Well, that panther just got whacked. This Gornish man is a freak. Now this guy sat up on top of this hill shooting guys and he did good. But he got he got real stupid. You'll see. I told him but I don't think he was paying attention or had his had any way to hear me. He was just terminally stupid. He thought he was going to stand up to this Gornich. That was a good shot, but that's like the only good shot he gets on him. He basically cannot damage him from the front. And I never even tried to shoot him from the front. I only shot him from the rear. Terrible shot. That did nothing. I told him to get the hell out of there and run away. He just stood his ground and just got murdered. Hooray, he did 20 damage. Now the good news is that guy behind him kicks kicks butt. Knocked the diamond back to King Tiger. No, that was a, it was a Yog Panzer IV. That was fantastic. This guy did a great job in this uh, King Tiger. And this King Tiger is an expensive tank, man. It's good, but it's an expensive tank. It's around 13,000 plus gold. Too rich for my blood. And I did I didn't ever bought it. I, I had a chance to get it for half price, but I never got it because the, 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 the colors are just wrong. It, it looks rusty with that turret you can't really tell it in the shade but it's got this kind of rusty there you can see it better I want that I want that tan Africa core and if they don't have that which is to the best of my knowledge they really don't have a classic King Tiger that was a great shot King Tiger with a tan I'm not interested in
But that HMX 1357 did a terrific job and got the MVP. That was outstanding. So, very good game. I'm telling you, this that tank was awesome. So, let me reiterate. I thought the Fury was fantastic. And I think that uh, anyone who's considering getting it, you need to get it. The price of 3200 is is a good deal. A bargain, really. It worked like a dream. The only thing is I couldn't do any damage to the Gornish Tier 8, but it's Tier 6, so you know, you know that's basically going to be the case going in. So I, I'm not going to complain about that. The tank performed great, man. The mobility was terrific. I thought everything was good. I, I don't know why anyone would say this is not a good tank because it's really good. It worked for me. Like I said, they charge three grand for skins. So if you want to just call this, you know, a skin, good enough for me. Let's see what we have here. It tells us actually. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's a uh, variation of the Easy 8. So that's fantastic. It's an Easy 8. Sherman, just an absolute butt kicker. Terrific mobility. Big time positive all around for me. I was very happy with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed it enough to buy yourself a Fury. It's quite good. So please leave a like for this video. It will help spread the word. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. You'll get notifications, and I make an average of two or more videos a day. Tell your friends. They'll have a chance to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I have more to make, and of course, every day I'm making more. I will see you guys then. Thanks again once for watching the video.